Welcome to the 67th Annual Writers Guild Awards. The Writers Guild of America East wants to remind you there is no tweeting or texting of tonight's results during the ceremony. In other words, what happens in the Edison Ballroom stays in the Edison Ballroom. Your for this evening co-created the PJs, created the Bernie Mac Show, was a consulting producer for The Office, and the senior black correspondent for The Daily Show. He is an executive producer on the ABC sitcom Blackish and the host of Comedy Central's The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore. Please welcome Larry Wilmore. Everybody is eating and drinking. Eating and drinking. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you. This is so exciting. Welcome to the, woo, I know, <laughs> 67th Annual Writers Guild Awards, or as I like to call it, the thing I said yes to before I got my own TV show. <laughs> That's how they get you, right? <laughs> no, it's really, it's so nice to be here, because tonight we honor the, the great creators of fiction, you know, like Wes Anderson, Gillian Flynn, Brian Williams, right? You can, uh, I had to get that one in. Right? Is he here tonight? Why are you going? Right. You know, to be honest, I'm, I'm surprised they even scheduled the awards for today. I mean, what were the odds a bunch of writers would be free on Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have to say this. Tonight's show is brought to you by the makers of Final Draft. Okay, it's, uh, yes, Final Draft, state-of-the-art software that scriptwriters use to make their work look like it came out of a manual typewriter in 1945. <laughs> Well done, final draft, well done. Okay, so before we start, there's been, you guys all know, there's been a big announcement about a change of the guard in the comedy world that I just want to address up front, you know, because people keep asking me about it, so, so let me just get this out of the way, okay? I am all for an all-female Ghostbusters, <laughs> all right? That's, I don't know why the busting of ghosts should be relegated to just men, okay? Am I concerned that there are no men? Maybe just a little bit. You know, I wasn't here when you guys had that whole ghost outbreak thing in the 80s, okay? So maybe it's not fair for me to say what you really need, right? But you know, maybe three women and one man. Maybe the guy's waiting out in the car. I'm just saying, look, I have nothing against four women Ghostbusters. I think they'll be fine. But I am concerned, however, that no matter how many times we put that Ghostbuster puzzle together, we keep ending up with only one black Ghostbuster. <laughs> we can't get two. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not advocating for brothers to be out there busting ghosts. That's not what I'm saying, guys. All I'm saying is the corralling of apparitions is not a very common brother activity. I put it in the same non-brother activity as ice road trucking, deadly as catching, busting of ghosts. It's all the same. Personally, I'm not afraid of ghosts. I don't want any uh, motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane, but ghosts I can deal with. I think that clears everything up, right? And I'll be taking over the Daily Show. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's just a joke. No, there have been so many great movies, uh, great movies this year. Wes Anderson is writing partner Hugo Guinness, who nominated for the Grand Budapest Hotel. I love that movie. Oh, man. I really hope they win. I've never seen an acceptance speech delivered by steam powered gramophone. It's gonna be fun. I thought Grand Budapest was really powerful. Finally, I thought, Hollywood is telling stories about bespectacled accordion unicyclers who can only read Futura. <laughs> hey, applaud. That's a font joke, motherfuckers. Come on. <laughs> That's a true writer's joke. <laughs> also nominated um, is The Imitation Game. Great movie. Um, which is confusing for me because that's what I call my one-man show about James Mason and Lando Calrissian getting stuck in an elevator. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are we going to get out of this elevator, Lando Calrissian? <laughs> they told me they fixed it. I trusted them to fix it. It's not my fault. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Lando Calrissian. <laughs> TV shows are really strong this year as well. To, uh, congratulations to the writers of Mad Men. Good, Mad Men, Mad Men fan. Just uh, FYI, if Matthew Weiner wins, he's gonna do half of his acceptance speech now, and then the second half in the spring of 2017, so just a heads up. 
And with us tonight are the two uh, stars of the hit Cinemax drama, The Nick. Clive Owen, Andre Holler, The Nick, yeah. You guys, uh, you know, if you don't know, the Brooklyn Bay shows about a New York hospital in the early 1900s. Um, it's funny, it's the only New York Nick anyone wants to actually watch nowadays, right? <laughs> Lake of Fan. <laughs> Okay, I realize this is a group of, water, uh, of writers, guys. The Knicks are a basketball team, okay? <laughs> Remember the guys who shoved you in the lockers during high school? <laughs> They're probably playing basketball at the time. <laughs> now, of course, the TV show I'm most excited about, the one I'm sure we'll all be talking about uh, next year at this time, is NBC's The Slap, right? <laughs> do, you, are you, do you work at The Slap? Okay, that is the best title ever, right? It tells you what it's about right away. I mean, I'm pumped, but you have to wonder, what is seven season of The Slap going to look like, right? <laughs> oh my God, the slapper has struck again. <laughs> this time he slapped an old lady, what? <laughs> oh, they can make it into a movie, American Slapper. 160 confirmed slaps, get the fuck out of here. I call that a hero, okay? <laughs> no, it's controversial, that's how I feel. <laughs> Now, I joked about hosting earlier, but I really am glad that I'm here because uh, most people, they have such a horrible view of writers. It's true. You know what? I think they just don't understand what we do, right? I mean, I love Game of Thrones, but I keep reading how everyone's all worried about what happens when the show catches up to the books. Have you heard? I mean, think about how shitty that makes the writing staff of that show feel, right? <laughs> there are literally dozens of articles stressing about what happens if those writers have to start, you know, writing. <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> I mean, that's how people think about writing, which is great that we're being honored tonight, right? We got to do it ourselves. That's okay. All right. Okay. Let's get ready to start this. Oh, and just a word of caution before we start. Um, if you guys are up here and you're receiving your award and um, out of the uh, corner of your eye you see a black man approaching you rapidly, don't worry, it's Kanye, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, just make yourself as large as you can. <laughs> Don't show any fear. <laughs> just look him in the eye and say, George Bush hates black people. Something like that, Beyonce lyric, he'll be fine. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, you guys ready to start the show? Okay, let's get it started. Let's announce our first presenter. <laughs> 